Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on the basics of circles. So, with circles, there's two formulas you need to remember. You need to remember the formula for area, which is pi times r times r. Sometimes it's written as pi r squared. And you also need to know the formula for the circumference of a circle, which is the distance around the edge of a circle. And that formula is 2 times pi times r. So again, it's sometimes written as 2 pi r. These two formulas are not going to be given to you in the exam, so you will need to remember them. Um, we need to know what pi is. Pi is just a number, 3.14. It's also a button on a calculator that you can just press instead of typing in 3.14. And r stands for radius and is the distance from the center to the edge of a circle. So let's have a go at a question. This first circle, um, what I always do next to the circle is write down what r is. So the radius of this circle is 4, because 4 is the distance from the middle to the edge. So if I wanted to work out the area of this circle, I would just do pi times r times r, which is our formula that we must remember. Pi is 3.14 times the radius times the radius again. And you type all of that into a calculator and you'll get the answer of 50.3. So that's the area of that circle. If the question wanted the circumference, we pretty much do the same except we use the other formula, which is 2 times pi times r. Put in our numbers, so it's 2 times 3.14 times the radius, which is 4. And when you type all of that into a calculator, you get the answer of 25.1. Now remember, with both of these answers, we need the units. And I hope you know that when it's area, it's centimeters squared. And circumference is just a distance around the edge. So circumference is just centimeters. Right, let's have a look at go and have a go at this second example. Second example is a little bit harder. They give us this number 12 in the middle of the circle. But that's not the radius, because that's not halfway across the circle. It's all the way across the circle. So r, in this case, would be half of that number. So r would be 6. So if we want to find the area of this circle, we're just going to, again, start with the formula, pi times r times r, put in the numbers, 3.14, times 6 times 6, and type that into a calculator, and you'll get the answer of 113.1, remembering that we use our units of centimetres squared because it's area. Same again with circumference. Always start with the formula that you need to learn, 2 times pi times r. Put in the numbers, 2 times 3.14 times the radius, which is 6, Type that into a calculator, and you'll get the answer of 37.7. And the units are just centimetres, because it's the distance round the circle. So there's two simple examples of circles. Now we'll do a slightly harder one. Here we have a semicircle, or half a circle. And the question, we're going to start with by finding the area of this semicircle. So firstly, if this is half a circle, and this bottom line here is the distance across the whole circle, then we can easily say that the radius is half of this. So the radius is 10 centimetres, because it's half of the 20. So to find the area of that circle, we start with our formula for a circle, which is pi times r times r. But because it's only half of a circle, we're going to divide it by 2. So all we do, put in our numbers, 3.14 times the radius, which is 10, times the radius, times 10, and then divide that answer by 2. So the area of the circle would have been 314, but we're going to be dividing that by 2, which will give us our final answer of 157. And we must remember the units, centimetres squared, because it's area. 
Now for circumference, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to find the perimeter of this shape. So the perimeter of this shape is the distance around the whole of the shape. So it would be the circle, and it's only half of it. So we're going to find first the circumference of half of the circle. So the formula for the circumference is 2 times pi times r. Because it's only half a circle, we're going to divide that by 2. So putting our numbers, it's 2 times 3.14 times the radius, which is 10, but then we're going to divide that by 2. So that will give us 62.8 for the whole circumference, but we're dividing that by 2, which will give us 31.4. This is the distance of the curved bit of the circle. But if I want the perimeter, of course I need to add on this straight line at the bottom here. So I must also add on 20 to that number to get the whole perimeter. So 31.4 add 20 is 51.4. And the units are centimetres because it's distance. So that's how you find the perimeter of a semicircle. A lot of people will forget to add on the bottom straight line. So we've gone through a few examples of basic circles. So here are a few questions for you to have a go at. Good luck.